Good morning. So I understand that there are some of you that you might think that being a rock star, being in the spotlight, having everyone's eyes on you may not be for you, may not be your cup of tea. You say, Amber, I, I really am kind of a behind the scenes type person. Um, I, don't, I don't like people to look at me, that kind of a thing. I get that, sort of. I can't relate, but I get it. I get what you're saying. Here's why I think you're wrong. Your inner rock star demands the spotlight. Your inner rock star craves it. Your inner rock star belongs in the spotlight. I, I understand this might make you uncomfortable. You may not know how to be in the spotlight, but let me assure you, I'm going to explain all of that right now. So you've heard me talk about rock star, right? I've told you what that means to me. Rockstar, in addition to all the other past and, and the music aspects of it, being a rock star means no apologies, no caveats, no disclaimers, 100% who you are, doing what you do best, serving 100% of your ideal client. That's rock star, right? Your vision is your inner rock star. What you set out to do, what you set out to create, what you said was important to you is your inner rock star. That's what demands the spotlight. And by spotlight, I don't necessarily mean center stage in front of a million people in the actual spotlight. What I mean is your vision deserves, not just demands and requires and craves it, deserves some attention. Your vision is too important to let it sit by the sidelines. Your vision is too important to be a backstage person. Your vision is too big to not take center stage. Here's why I think that is. There's three reasons. First, your commitment to your vision will put you front and center. Your commitment to creating those things you said were important, to affecting the change and to creating a better world, to improving the lives and the lifestyle of your ideal clients, that's what you said you wanted. Does it still hold true? Your commitment to that vision will demand that you put it front and center and make it important, make it as critical as you said it was, right? That's what you said. So your commitment to that vision is going to insist that you speak up, that you make yourself heard, that you connect with your ideal clients, that you put yourself out there, be a little vulnerable if necessary, and just let the sunshine in, let the spotlight come on. Here's the second reason why you're in a rock star and it's going to be okay if you claim the spotlight your commitment to your raving fans you said that in your business here's what you want to create right here's your vision who do you want to create that for that's your ideal client who do you actually want to help who do you want to serve who are you meant to serve who do you keep thinking in the middle of the night you're thinking how can i help these people how do i make this better how do i make their world more amazing that's your raving fan, that's your idol client, and your commitment to them will get you into the spotlight. It will make you comfortable in the spotlight. It, it, it means that when you look at your vision and when you look at your idol client, you can't keep quiet. You won't be able, hey, Brandy, hi, Javine, hello. You don't get to stay quiet and do things halfway. When I say claim the spotlight, part of that is being heard. Part of that is putting your message out there, your face out there. And part of that is doing what you were meant to do. We talked about gold. We talked about your genius zone. And when you spend your day doing things that are not in your genius zone, doing those things that are meh, that's what keeps you backstage. That's what keeps you from being in the spotlight, being heard and put yourself out there, right? So for example, if... Let's see, I'll just use myself. If I was not comfortable being in the spotlight, those of you who know me know that's not true. But if I decided that, that being out here and speaking and helping people with a rock star brand was just too scary and just too hard, and instead I was gonna go be a florist. Now, I love arranging flowers. I did it in a previous life, it was absolutely spectacular. And I think when I retire, maybe that's what I'll go do. But if I stayed away from what I know my genius is, 
Where, and if I decided not to serve those clients, I was meant to serve and just went and made beautiful flower arrangements, it would be okay and I would be helping some people, but that would be me shying away from the spotlight, not taking center stage and truly serving my vision and serving my raving fans, right? Does that make sense a little bit? So your inner rock star, your no apologies, no disclaimers, no caveats, 100%, will be in the spotlight. It demands it, it deserves it. The third reason why I want you to, to allow your inner rock star to have that spotlight is because authenticity demands it. Authenticity requires you to be front and center in front of your idol clients and share 100% of your vision. It's just a requirement. Think of it this way. Okay, get your vision in mind, right? It's morning. You should be having your vision right first and forefront anyway. Think about how amazing that is. Think about how important that is. Think about how dedicated and committed you are to that. Now imagine keeping that to yourself. Imagine sharing it with just the people who happen along your path and specifically ask and demand <laughs> that you did it. But think of just spending most of your time not doing that, not going after that stuff you said was important, not affecting that change, not improving those lives of the people you know you were meant to serve. Doesn't that feel wrong? Doesn't that just feel like something's out of place, something's out of whack, something is out of authenticity, something's out of alignment. Your authentic self, your true vision will absolutely demand that you take center stage. It will push you through the hard stuff. It will help you make those scary calls. It will help you put your shoes on and do your job, right? That's, you know, to be fair, in my most rock starness, I rarely wear shoes. But you know what, you get my point. It will help you stay focused, stay the course, do the hard things. It will help you celebrate the fun things. It will keep you motivated and keep you appreciative of the moment. That's what the spotlight is. It's that true expression of your vision. It's that dedication and commitment to serving those people you were meant to serve. So I got to tell you, whether you're, whether you are comfy in the spotlight or not, get comfy. Your vision deserves it. Your ideal clients deserve it. If you are still hesitant about claiming the spotlight, about getting out there, or maybe you're not even sure how to do that. Maybe you just need a little support, a little bit of roadside help along this journey. I would love to help you with that. I would love to support you, figure out how to get in the spotlight, how to claim that, how to serve your vision better. I, I would love to. So if you, if you would like a little bit of support, um, drop in the comments, duet. D-U-E-T, and I will contact you, and we'll have a quick one-on-one -on -one conversation, completely private, completely complimentary, and we'll figure out how, what your spotlight looks like and how to get you there and how to get you comfy and what to do once you get there. Oh, my gosh, that's a whole other conversation. But if you would like to have some support, if you want to have a conversation with me, just drop the word duet in the comments. For those of you who have not met me, I'm Amber Griffiths, and my company is Your Brand by Design, and I am committed to helping you and your inner rock star shine. For those of you who have met me, hit your butt on the phone, let's have a call. You know better. If you're still feeling stuck, shame on you. Give me a call. Uh, you can find my phone number on this page or just drop duet in the comments. I cannot wait to hear from you. Let's, let's everybody be center stage. Commit to your vision, commit to your raving fans and rock on.